Now, Justin, how long have you been doing comedy now? Uh, I just passed a year, maybe like last month. What's one of the biggest things that stand out to you in the last uh, year for like open mics to show casing or you know, going to shows? Um, <clears throat> well, most of my comedy career has been McAllen, which uh, sucks for comedy. <laughs> it sucks for live entertainment. Do you have to do it in Spanish? No, but they love it when you start a joke in English and end it in Spanish. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, yeah. matter what you say. Like, right. It's just, it's just like, woo, go yeah, crazy. Yeah. Use, use words. Yeah. He does. He, he, he does. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, because people love to be represented. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but so it's pretty rough there. And then being able to do like shows or like, you know, bigger mics here, it's just like, you're like, oh, this is, this is how this is supposed to be. It's, oh, yeah. You're not just supposed to be eating shit. Oh, like yeah. the whole time. Oh, yeah. So you, uh, you, so you're finding the the audience are better here in uh, in Austin. Yeah, I mean, I have had good, good audiences in McAllen too. I probably wouldn't have stuck with it okay. if I hadn't. Mm. But uh, they're few and far between. Right on. Yeah. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't mean to like rag on my hometown too oh, much, oh. but they do suck. You're just, <laughs> you're just <laughs> hey, being realistic. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and, That's yeah, funny. And, and and I saw, I guess, the the occasional good crowd where you really get some stuff going is enough. Like the intoxicating effect keeps yeah. you going. Like, yeah, I want to do that again. I I kind of spoiled myself a little bit because <clears throat> the second time I ever did an open mic, I invited all my friends, so I had a good crowd of like. 20, 25 people <coughs> that were all just, just my friends there. Hell yeah. And, like, went crazy. I felt like I was, like, Chappelle or something. Oh, nice. And I was like, oh, I gotta do this again. Like, I, I, I can't stop doing this. <laughs> the feeling is too good, yeah. Yeah, but then those are, like, those are the exception to the rule, at least at this level. I don't sure. think I've made 25 friends in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You could get them all in one yeah. show Moved and all in one room. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got all your friends here for this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, that's no. A, no, yeah. Thank you for being my friend. That's <laughs> cool, man. Yeah. 26. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Justin, I'm curious. Um, how did you land the hosting gig for the Cap City Open Mic? That's a cool thing. Uh, I worked there. Yeah. You <laughs> okay, worked yeah, really yeah. hard there. I, uh, I, I am a bartender there. Um, so I did kind of have that in gotcha. already, but it wasn't just handed to me either. Uh, yeah. They saw my my Kill Tony minute, mm -hmm. and they really liked my Kill Tony minute. Good. So they they offered to let me do it the first time, and they're like, "Oh, you did really good. Heck I can yeah. see you doing it again once a month." Good job. That's Even awesome, like man. Flynn. Yeah, yeah, that's thank awesome. You. Thank you. Yeah. Um, now your Kill Tony minute. You want to tell the the viewers at home how that went? How long you were in in comp? How many times you've been on stage before you did that? And uh, what you uh. Uh, what, what that experience was like from going from the uh, small stage to the to the Kill Tony stage? Yeah, so um, I've been on Kill Tony twice. The first time I was on Kill Tony I, was the day I moved here to Austin. Yeah, I remember. Oh, wow. So, uh, and my minute did fairly well. Um, good crowd reaction, and then the just interviews are hard, especially mm. especially Kill Tony because yeah, yeah. it's not just, you know, I've performed for... It's easy to let the pressure get to you yeah, instead exactly. of to yourself. Yeah, exactly. And, and I've performed for crowds about that size that were there, but it's not just that crowd, right? It's thousands of people right. that you got to, you know. There's 500,000 people watching, watching live a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's real easy to get in your own head. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I kind of. Think who's going to be at adding me after <laughs> yeah. tweeting at me? <laughs> Turns out I had nothing to worry about because it was no one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they, uh, yeah, do they mention you? Uh, do they mention your Instagram information or anything? Uh, I, I hear I've heard they, they used to do that. Yeah, they, they used to. I don't think they do anymore. They, they, they get it. They write it down right. every time you sign up. Right. But. So you did write it down. I did write it down. But they did not mention it. No. Yeah, yeah I noticed that that they stopped uh, help, helping people get a little fame off of uh, right. the, yeah. the show appearance. You got to you got to put yourself out there a little bit more now. Right. You got to yeah. ask yeah. Tony if you can shout out your socials and yeah. That's Oh, you have to ask for permission? Well, that that's what I would imagine. I would just fucking you know, done or, it. or or maybe you just slide it in somewhere. I was gonna, at the or, end. or right at the end. Follow Thank me you at guys so much. Yeah. 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 At Derek at Derek D comedy yeah, on yeah, Instagram, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the way I would do it. Just slide it in at the end there. Yeah. So Third time, <coughs> slide it in. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, 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 I will. Was yeah, it, right. Was that second? If time? you never forget the first time and the second time, you really give it to him. Third time, <laughs> just sliding it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, the second time was it easier or harder? Second time easier. I first time I did a bit that was a minute long, 
Second time I did four jokes. Okay. That nice. were just like set up punchlines. Little stuff. one line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, I, that goes. I think that goes. That goes down better on Kill Tony, and I think that goes down better in like open mics in general. Yeah, yeah. Is just uh, jokes. you know. You don't have to take like force them to come along with you on this right, journey, journey as much, yeah. but I would like to still get better at longer bits too. Um, but you yeah, know, for sure. I, I feel like I've been leaning a little too too heavily on the you know set up punchline stuff. Lately. Yeah, that's what I've been too. Yeah, I've been feeling that. I I don't think there's anything wrong with that personally. Uh, um, yeah, that that's yeah. when I I started. I what I realized I was getting laughs on were my one liners, and so for months I just kind of I, I only did one liners that's all I cared about and then I started experimenting with telling stories and then also you know longer jokes that incorporate more yeah see I uh, I'm, I'm so I, this has been the thing I've been struggling with this last couple of weeks is story funny stories or jokes I've been listening to like Burt Kreischer and shit but then Anthony Justin Justin will come along and he'll have fucking just killer jokes yeah and there's yeah. fucking lines and there's they're, they're just they're set up punch twist there's a twist on each one of them mm -hmm. that's that's how I was doing it originally, and I thought, well, do I get to <laughs> do I fuck it up? Do I go the wrong way? You know. Yeah. Well, uh, like like Derek was saying, I don't like if you get laughs, you're not doing it wrong, right? Right. But I would like to be able to do both, mm -hmm. just because they're both fun to me. You know, yeah. that's you know, I, I I don't think if I got really good at stories, I would ever stop. Just yeah, you know, dropping. And they exercise different yeah. muscles because yeah. like when you're telling people a story, which you constantly have to keep in mind is, am I keeping people's attention? Right. Am I boring people? You know, or is this exciting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, keeping them keeping them in, involved and actually feeling the audience is very important too, though. Yeah. Feeling where they're at. Right. If they're involved, they're involved. If they're, if they're not, you need to get them involved. Yeah.